Hello guys, today I'm going to show you the new feature of the Breakthrough HUD that I'm really excited about. It's something that I've wanted for a long time and now it's finally here and I can't wait to show you and explain you and to show you what it can do for you and how to use it. Uh, okay, uh, this new feature is strictly to re to related to two pop-ups. It is related to the versus the bet river pop-up where we actually see how our opponent play against the bet and in bet river pop-up where we see what is he doing on the river when betting um, okay so we have here versus the bet river pop-up so we see uh, what is the opponent's strategy when they're facing the river bet when they're out of position in position divided by any possible size we have small sizes from block to 40%, from 40 to 70, 70 to 95, and 95% plus. And we have uh, some lines divided. So we have after general number, and we have after betting turn, because when somebody bets turn and bets river, he's getting more polarized, and that's important. And when somebody is, for example, checking the turn, uh, out of position or in position, generally the ranges are getting more capped. and definitely it's going to be a lot different and I will show you why is that and we basically have every line after bet turn, after call turn, after check check turn you're going to see then exactly how he plays in this strategy um, I'm going to also show you uh, uh, this uh, uh, new feature uh, connected to a pool analysis so you will uh, see how you can use that uh, playing uh, when you play against a pool which are the hotspots you want to take and which are the big exploits you can take and exploit your pool uh, okay so uh, the key thing here is that we have the general numbers and most of the HUDs are going to be having general numbers for everything it's okay but it's not going to tell you the whole story it's not going to tell you what is this guy doing in that spot with this line against this size and regarding to different size of the pot because not all the players are going to play every uh, pot's the same uh, people generally play small pots differently they're gonna play medium pots differently they're gonna play super big deep pots uh, way differently than that and you want to identify these players you want to identify the players that don't care about the small pots they're just gonna uh, like play six tables multi tabling if you, you bring them like over bet on the river they will just don't care they will not going to see okay what he's wrapping based on the range versus range interaction they will just don't care you want to identify this player. you want to to put a lot of pressure in small pots with them because you will see that they will not care about it uh, you want to see uh, players that are married with your hand with their hand uh, and when they have aces and kings no matter how the pot size is on the river and you have a lot of these players they will always bluff catch they will always call you down you want to identify these players uh, for sure uh, because in many situations where the pot is super deep, for example, in the forward pot, the board can get like super great for your range. It can go like 9 10 jack, where you have all the straights, two pairs, sets. And in this situation, you want to identify these guys that will never fold the aces and kicks. You want to identify the guys that are capable of making such a faults uh, that are that understand that they are like many maybe some guys are money scared but you want to identify these players you want to know their strategy in any possible sizes of the pot with any uh, with any uh, sizes that, you, that, that they're gonna face and every poker line to see how their range is in that poker line okay so that is interaction uh, now you see uh, we have uh, four sizes of the pot we see we have a pot on the river of 25 big blinds and less that's a small pots a pot on the river between 25 and 65 uh, big blinds on the river it's going to be medium pots and then we have a big pots from 65 to 120 blinds uh, basically for that pots you're going to play for stack you want to see how your opponent is playing when he's playing for uh, for a stack and you have a super deep pots where the river bet uh, is going to be uh, on the river it's going to be 120 blinds plus so basically when the river bet going in it's going to be 300 blinds plus plus uh, pots and even possibly uh, uh, more than 360 blinds deep so it's going to be a, a deep pots uh, where they where the players will play for uh, 150 blinds plus very often even uh, more than uh, 200 blinds plus and you want to know how people play how your opponent is playing that spot and what he's doing in that spot so let's get into it immediately we're gonna start with the pool 
to see how the pool is playing these pods, guys. So first, uh, we have a general numbers how a uh, pool is playing when face review bet out of position and in position. We see a fold around 60, uh, 46%, 53, 59, 69 based on the sizes. We see they're raising versus bet around 8, uh, 7, 6, 4 uh, and in position more than that. Generally, we see that their bluff raising out of position uh, is 9%, in position is around 7%, 17% against small bets. Against big bets, it's going down. Uh, that is the general. But let's see what is going on when we have uh, 25 uh, blind spots or less. So small pots, guys, in the small pots, we see they fold a lot more. So in the small pots, it's showing that pool doesn't care that much about the small pots. They fall more, they fall 52% to block bets. Uh, which is super good for us uh, and you should be basically in small pots whatever you do you can go wrong uh, whatever size you use they're going to overfold so you're going to have a really uh, profitable spots for you against uh, half like medium size bet they fall 57 63 74 for percent fall to an over bet immediately hot spot and uh, what is also great uh, that the most actually they are folding when the turn goes check check out of position or when the turn goes check check in position uh, you see like their folding is going way up so from 55 at, uh, from 52 to 55 so they fold more when the turn goes check checks and they're out of the position from uh, 57 to 61 from 63 to 67 and from 74 to 78 guys so definitely we see increasing when the turn is check check and we see also when the turn is check check in position and they're in position so they check behind the turn in position and uh, you're on the river uh, you just want to like bomb them with the ore beds because they will fold 74 percent uh, we see from 54 to 59 from 53 to 57 from 59 to 63 and from 71 to 74 so we see immediately increasing um, increasing uh, a fold uh, when the turn is check check so immediately hotspot for us we want to remember immediately when the turn is check check and we are on the river uh, that we want to bluff these spots against uh, and mostly want to use big sizes because they are really really all falling to big sizes but you can also use the small sizes because they are also falling to small sizes it depends what you want to wrap in that spot and you decide uh, okay, now when we see go to a medium pot, we actually see that the fold, uh, fold uh, frequency is going down. That is understandable because now when the pot is a little bigger, the ranges get more narrower and people get stronger. And but you see fold, fold frequency is going down from, uh, 40, from 52 to 43, from uh, 57 to medium uh, beds to 50, from 63 to 56 and from 74 to 67 so ranges are still getting narrower uh, the ranges are stronger but the guys are still massively overfolding and we also have that for imposition so we, st we s see a decreasement in a fold frequency but not that much it's still going to be super profitable to bluff and we still see again this thing and you want to mark them after the turn goes check check out of position attack your opponents after the turn goes check checks in position and uh you, are in, uh, you can bet river, definitely bet river. Uh, the sizes you want to use are again or bets because you see like uh, it goes from 43 to 46, uh, from 50 to 53 out of position, but it's going up the most into the big sizes. So they are overfolding after the turn go check check to big sizes from 56 to 63 and from 67 to 72. It's a big, big. Uh, increasement and that's the same what is happening in position so 71 they fall in position to an over bet of the turn goes check check so we have like it's going you're going to use mostly a pot uh, a plus there and if your pot needs to work in 50 percent of the time and if it's working in 71 percent of the time it just can't get better better than that for us um, we also see that even the Smaller bet is going to be efficient because uh, when you block bet from 25% on the river, it needs to work only 20% uh, of the time and it's working uh, more than double of that. So it's working 44%. So definitely there is no ex excuse then to attack their checking ranges. When they're check check out of position or in position, you need to attack that. You want to use bigger sizes. And the cool thing is, guys, they're 
raising is a bluff check raising 10% raising in position 90% when it gets pot gets bigger it is far less than that when we are talking about the really against the block size we see that now they are going to 12 and 9 but against like a normal size it's going to only be 5 3 and 4% basically when you bet big and you face a raise in the medium pot they will never bluff you so we need to win against their value range because your hand will not be good in in that case they are just not bluffing with raises and the thing is it's going even when the pot is getting even bigger they are bluffing less and when the pot is super deep when they raise in position or check raise out of position they have only nuts and nuts only so you can fold everything that is not your value hand okay um and again we see in these big pods guys that a frequency of fold is going down so from fit 40 for from 50 to uh, i think it's actually the same uh 56 to 54 67 to so 63 so it's having a slowly decreasement uh in uh in the in the fold area but basically the medium pods and the bigger pods are pretty much the same uh, similar and that's also uh, a good thing to, to take from there uh, so uh, in uh, bigger pods the ranges get a lot more narrower so on the medium pods they get narrower but still you're gonna see like middle pairs big top pairs and etc but there when the pot is big and you play for stack you know the ranges get more narrower and you see like they're still folding a bunch you see, still f see a general fold double position to small sizes 45 52 54 63 34 43 51 55 so still it's going to be a lot of folds uh, out of position in position but again we see what is again the most important thing when the turn goes check check and out of position or in position you see that the fold is way more it's 48 to 45 57 52 61 54 73 63 guys this is enormous actually because from 70 so from 63 to 73 against an orbit of the turn goes check check it's insane because their range is uh, more narrower more um, stronger and they still fold 73 percent to an orbit in that spot and in position it's pretty much the same from 32 uh, from 34 to 43 so in blocks are like printing money they need to work 20 percent they're working 43 percent in big pots so if you if you a lot of your range wants to block use block against thinking opponents you're going to print money uh when you use a bigger pot from 43 to 48 from 51 to 56 and from 55 to 63 with an orbit or a big bet basically 95 percent plus so the still the money is printing there and you want to take their check ranges in these situations and we finally have uh enormous spots we see that there are no bluff raises we see that actually their fold is going down a little bit but not that much from 63 to 64 from 63 uh from 54 uh, it's going to be roughly rough roughly uh roughly pretty similar uh but the thing is uh, what is not here similar is this you see they they fold in position here 55 uh to an uh, overbet general number but a general number here uh, will be when the stacks are really deep and they play uh four pot from 300 blinds plus uh it can go from 300 360 plus uh they will fold 74 so in a big pot where they play for only a stack uh they will actually fold 55 percent and when they play bigger than that they will fall 75 so it's increasement of 20 percent and it's significant because that is saying okay when he's gonna have top pair triple barrel okay he's gonna call probably uh some of them not but paul probably will like top pair good kicker plus but when the thing is when you put pot is 100 blinds and you go with the jam and the pot needs to will be over 300 blinds they will really think hard about it and let's see their bluff catching strategy guys so this is what they bluff catch when they're faced a uh, 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 river bet when they're deep you see it's like top pair top kicker plus no top pair weak kicker middle pair ace high 
So basically there are all pair sets, two pair plus and top pair top kicker plus. So that is immediately saying to us it is super profitable spot to be and have a have a pair of it, pair of you know what, use that pair and put pressure guys because it's gonna pay out extremely. You are deep, uh, you have a bluff, uh, it's gonna be super profitable. You have a bluff, uh, your range is strong, you rep strong, uh, people will know it's people bluff rarely and people have problems you see like in a normal pot 100 blinds they will call it they will fold 55 they will fold 63 in the medium but in uh, super deep they will fold against the big bet on the river 74 percent and when they are in position that is indication guys you want to attack them in these lines okay uh so we have that now covered for the uh, bet river versus bet river and i'll go to the bet river spots so this is the situation when uh, we want to see what is our opponent river bet strategy so we are in the situation we want to know okay how much he bluffs uh, how much he bet faults how strong his range is does he slow is he slow playing etc and we actually see this is the uh, total number uh, uh, out of position in position river bet total number we see a bet fold percentage which is 50 more than 50 percent 55 59 56 their bluffing percentage we see how much they bluff we see when they are mostly bluffing uh, and this is the general numbers and we are now going to go into the based on the pots uh, on the pot sizes we see in the medium pot guys the bluff frequency is going down so this is the general numbers 28 35 29 and general we see it's over 30. so it's over 30 close to 40 based on the based on the uh, bluffing percentages uh, based on the lines uh, and we see a uh, bad fold is going also a little up so uh, we see that they bet fold more and we can see that they are actually mostly bluffing after the turn goes check check out of position or in position so the turn goes check check uh, this is the spot that we, they will bluff the most because we see increasement in the smaller bets bluffs from 31 to 34 from 37 to 40 31 31 37 37 and we see in position from 31 to 38 from 37 to 41 31 to 33 and 38 to 43 so it's actually significant to, to know that that they will mostly bluff in these lines and really one significant thing guys they are mostly bluffing with the big sizes so 95 percent plus is the things that where they bluff the most and especially in position after turn go check checks and they bet big they will be mostly bluffing there because that's almost uh 43 percent of bluffs uh and definitely you need to remember that because it it's going to be significant and also let's see guys which are the boards that are bluffed the most um, so uh, we actually see that they gonna bluff the less so the less weak hands are or bluffs are into the ace xx area so when the board is ace xx they're gonna be bluffing the less uh, it's going to be around 20% uh, and in dry boards uh, on the scary turns and the rivers they're going to actually bluff the most so remember that uh, we can see that trend also in position so uh, around 24 25 in position and 32 31 let's see with the with the bigger sizes 34 now and the ASXX boards are actually the less bluffed spots so people will rarely bet river uh, rarely gonna you know, bluff from most of the boards they're gonna rarely bluff on the ASXX so remember that uh, okay we see now when the pot get bigger guys their bluff bluffing frequency is going down so it's going down from mid 30s close to uh, like mid 30s higher up 30s it's gonna go to uh, like mid 20s which is also significant and with the lower bets it's going to be around 30. A really significant thing so the pot is medium they bluff immediately less 
uh, the blood percentage is down, down their bed fold is going down that is logically because their ranges are a little stronger uh, when the pockets get bigger the ranges are stronger so they are bed folding less than that but we still see guys the the one important thing that they mostly bluff again when the turn goes check check uh, out of position when the turn goes check check in position so from 21 to tw 23 from 29 to 35 from 25 to 26 from 32 to 38 similar is in position we see a actually big increasement from uh, uh 23 to 32 uh, from 27 to 32 and 27 33 and 32 to 38 it is significant so after turn go check check that that is the most when they bluff we're gonna still again see the boards in the medium pot and now we see like medium pot asexx boards guys it's gonna be around 10 percent bluff so uh they're gonna rarely rarely bluff the rivers in this situation when the pot is medium and uh, that's gonna be uh, showing here is again in position around 12 13 uh and yeah it's gonna be think close here and they will mostly bluff this like uh lower boards uh or 10 high boards this is the spots they will bluff the most you see like low two, two to nine dry low boards and they will use it you see like on the queen on the king uh on the ace so basically on that over card they will try to wrap something and bluff on these scary runouts on the turn and rivers they will mostly bluff but the thing is guys that asexx boards just remember it it's going to be the most under bluff spots uh, and actually by the sizing going up their bluffs are going down so uh just just think about it when you're in the deep pot and the go goes asexx and you're having a bluff catcher yeah you can just you can just fall you see like they're just uh having it most of the times you see now that's like six percent of bluffs or zero percent of bluffs in the like uh when they're playing for stacks so people when you're playing for stack and the asexx they're going bad bad show you mainly against the pool you want to fall okay uh let's now go to this uh you see again after the check in turn is the the spots that they bluff the most and they they bluff the most with an orbit we see like 38 38 so around f close to 40 percent they're bluffing with an orbit uh the thing is now the pot is big playing for stack bad fold goes look at this 29 zero percent bad fold out of position uh, 30 percent so it's going to go from this high 60 to low 30s and out of position even like around 20s so bad fold going down people play, play for stack they bet river they're not gonna bet fold they uh, like playing for this 100 blinds you're gonna rarely uh, bluff raise them out of the hand bluff frequency is going down uh, from around 25 to 30 is going down to 16 and low 20s uh, and again mostly they are bluffing uh, with an orbit and after the turn go check check so definitely keep that in mind that is the thing that is going down always uh, and you just want to see you you just want to identify those things and also also the thing is that their donk river you see like on these small pots the donk river will be around 20 percent of 25 percent of bluffs uh and actually in a bigger pot it's gonna be it's gonna be all around like if the if they pot river with the donk <laughs> you they're gonna bluff like six percent and uh yeah just donk donks generally on the river uh and you see in this pool you have to include also the fish so in in this in this pool the pool is consisting of, from regs weaker regs uh top regs crushers um uh, needs uh, and fish big whales so all of these players will be there and I would say uh, this donking thing generally this kind of bluffs are here even they're like 15% in medium pots 18% 20% uh, in the big pots they are less than that around 10 to 15 and with the big bets it's gonna be six that's gonna be mainly a thing uh, I think a, a, a lot of big fish uh, a big agro fish can like put bluffs there but regs rarely like pot shove 
the the river in the deep pot is a bluff i think it's going to be happening super rarely uh when they don't there they're going to be usually super value heavy and keep that in mind especially regs uh, but like you see even the pools so even the fishes in, in this line is going to be uh, a lot stronger when they're playing for for stacks but the fish in this situation can actually have bluffs and it's going to have bluffs because they are just random if they felt they've just like don't shove the river but Rex will not gonna do it so it's also keep uh, important thing that when the size of the pot goes di down uh, goes up their uh, bluffing in the donk spots is way down and pretty much it, it is questionable if it's even happening because we see in like big pots it's gonna be six percent of bluffs and definitely keep that in mind and uh, the thing is that you need to know that they are bluffing mostly with the Norbet so the pool will bluff with the Norbet in this situation keep that in mind because actually you see how rarely they bluff with small pots uh, with small bets so even one uh, one fourth to forty percent is bluffing 31 uh, now in the bigger pots it's only 20 in a super big pot it's around 16 so when you see a block in a big pot and it's from reg it's going to rarely be a bluff uh, and it's like their bed folding is you see their bed folding is now in the like this medium pots around 50 so you can probably get them out of the hand but when it's super big and they bet they block you see they're go not going to bed fold a lot and that is something that i noticed um because people there will actually in this situation put a lot of ore pairs uh, two pairs like even straights when the flush goes there um when flush goes there ore pairs they will just put that in a block and they will not fold in these super big pots so definitely we will not have a profitable bluff raises against this pool uh when the pot is super deep because their range will be strong super strong and uh, leg bluffs like you see they're lacking bluffs and when it's super deep you see like now it's 11 percent of bluffs uh 22 percent of bluff and it's mostly actually happening after check check turn uh they're the thing when they're bluffing the most and look at this uh, they're bluffing out of position 41 to 31 when the pot is big uh, they're bluffing with an overbet so definitely keep that in mind uh because to have a, a, a this understanding of your pool that they're doing these things i mean you can just use it uh, into your advantage heavily and just fall down these pots because uh, generally like their bluffing is going to be rare in these pots mostly it's going to happen after check check somewhere in, uh, on the turnout position or in position and just remember like this like low size is going to be value heavy uh, and mostly they will just bluff in our bet uh, in that spot or a big bet 95 percent plus so when they when they're doing that uh, they will bluff more it's still not like too too much but it's still a lot more than with the normal sizes and it's also good idea to keep that in the, in the, in the back of your mind uh in your subconscious just to know when you're in a spot to bluff catch you want to bluff catch when they are actually putting uh, a, a big size on the river and do a less of this bluff catching when they're putting uh these smaller sizes because they are rarely bluffing with it and especially when they're in the big big pots blocking your bet fault is not going to be successful guys it's just not going to be i tried it it didn't work and i was always questioning why how they are like not uh not maybe i thought it's maybe it's because of my image i have a bad image they will just bluff catch me there but actually people have strong ranges they just can't come to the river with really strong range and they feel on the river they can just really bet thin uh, in this situation there is for example they are, they they're having an over pair or they were having a two pair or straight and the fourth and the, and the third flush is there and they just feel i just can jam there what's going to be called worst if i jam my two pair there it's like top pair is not going to call me so i'm just going to go block and yeah when you shout you they're thinking okay maybe he'll turn something into bluff and a lot of money is getting in still they're getting the decent pot thoughts and this is actually the spot they will bluff catch so you need to 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 be aware of that you need to be aware of that they're bluffing mostly on these uh, lower boards when the scary card hits 
and they are not bluffing on the aesthetic boards uh, especially on the ASXX board that are mostly under bluffed across all line and across all sizes um, and ac uh, across all pot sizes actually uh, okay guys uh, that's it for a pool analysis. I want to tell you a little um, more few things. Uh, this is great. You have pool analysis. You can use that in your advantage. You, this is the a pool analysis of the mid stakes a pool of poker stars, which is one of the toughest pools in the game. Uh, so uh, if you use this, you can just use it uh, basically uh, from any other site, iPoker. Uh, winning poker network all of these pools will be weaker than stars and what works here will definitely work there uh, and things the tendency that players are doing there they will also do it, do it there and you will even have a better uh, uh, opportunity to, to exploit the weaker pools you're facing but that's cool you have a, a, a cool thing but actually I think the most profitable thing about this future future is when you're playing your opponents your strict opponents that you play because you will identify what are they doing in that spot you have concrete numbers about uh, what they are doing you will know if they are fighting for small pots if not you're gonna attack them you will have an idea how uh, like are they money scare in these big pots do they Will they bluff catch on this big pot? Because we see like their bluff catching strategy when it's 120 blinds deep, it's basically top pair, top kicker plus. So ace king on the ace xx, king x on the, the king xx, queen uh, ace queen on the queen xx, ace king on the king xx. That's like bottom of bluff catching range when you just pot shove the river. There is no like middle pairs. There is no like uh, ace highs or stuff like that. It's not, it's not going to happen. So when you have your opponent here and you see like this guy is not gonna bet thin river they're not gonna shove thin river because there are guys on that it's just gonna go deep bad bad shove with the lower pair with the top pair top kicker bad bad shove but there are other guys that will all immediately put control i played a pot yesterday uh it was actually day before yesterday i play a pot where the guy forbid me uh, a cutoff versus big blind we were 160 blinds deep he forbids me, and the pot wa and the board was king eight, uh, king ten eight, king ten eight, and the guy checked behind on the king ten eight. You see, and I immediately saw like this guy is pot controlling on the king x six when we are deep. He's pot controlling it. He had aces, and he pot controlled it. I mean, such a crucial informations there what he's going to do on the 9 10 jack that kind of guy you can just bully around and you can pu push him out of these spots but you're going to have a guy that will just go like easy king 10 8 bad bad shot with the ace king he doesn't care you can have eight stands it's going to be in your range frequently um maybe he doesn't know the strategy where you can just uh, where you don't have a five bet range you're gonna have all the kings all the aces or the ace king so he will need to slow down not like bet range they will have a guy that will have ace queen and go bet bet shot you don't want to identify these guys out how they play big pots super deep pots big pots medium pots and that's the like key future there you will have an idea what are they doing in every pot size with every line you will see how much they bet fold because there are guys that are like us that are learning that are studying that uh, want to see how the pool plays they will know okay the pool is rarely bluff raising rarely bluff raising so yeah what i want to do they are like never bluff raising uh you see like bet river no bluff raises ever when they're deep rarely raising in the big pots also really rarely even against the block bets and they will know okay and you want to identify these guys these guys you want to be the one to raise them in this situation because you will know these are good guys they are learning they are studying they know how the pool plays uh, against them i want to play differently than the pool plays against them i want to bluff raise i want to raise uh, the river in a spot that nobody else is doing um you want to use these informations into your advantage it can be really helpful 
So by knowing what your pool is doing and knowing to identify the guys that are know what the pool is doing, and if you have a decent image, you can pull everything. Uh, you can just pull it off without any any problems. So definitely the power of these future laydowns in playing your opponent and knowing what he's doing across all pot sizes, across all poker lines, and across against any any size. You have this uh, what they're bluff catching, bluff raising, uh, bluffing. You have it all, and I think it's like really easy game on the river for you you see a size of the pot you will immediately know their strategy and you will have really i mean not no not really big problems you will know what you want to do against any type of player you're facing so i think it's really really cool future and i'm looking forward to try it in game with you uh, maybe i will do stream or make a video i, I still don't know but it's going to be definitely in my arsenal in future and i'm i'm really having a nice feeling that this is going to pay out really 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 good for us uh, and i will try to show you that in the in the next videos um, that's it for today i hope you like it and if not you can always use this pool analysis because this will also give you upper hand uh, knowing and understanding where the pool where you have these hot spots and where you want to attack them and where you want to be passive where you want to fold a lot uh, if you're playing big pools and uh, especially if you're not going to have time to go player versus the player who have a pool, big pool and generally then against uh, this will be pool analysis will be a lot helpful to know how the pool plays across all the the, the pot sizes but also i think the players that will benefit the most from this are going to be zoom players because when you're playing zoom uh, you're going to play a lot of deep pots and you have a lot more information there and to really know your opponent in this situation how they play these deep pots and bigger pots uh, it's going to be like really huge boost for your win rate. We also have a, a deep pop-up where you actually can see their ranges, uh, which, which are the tributing, calling tributes, and that connected with their river bets and versus bet river bets is going to be just crazy. And I think the, like, I'm going to occasionally play more of the Zoom now, uh, having this, and usually my session starts late, so I'm always playing. Every day I play Zoom, I, I add a few tables, around 2, 4, like 3, 4 a.m. So I'm playing also the Zoom and it will be a lot of helpful. And yeah, that's it, guys. See you pretty soon. I'm going to make a video. We're going to make a stream. Uh, I hope you like it. And in future, I'm going to also uh, make more pool analysis videos. We made a bunch of them still now, but we will continue to do it so we can better have a, a upper hand in, in our pool and to be able to exploit these pools. Thank you for your time and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys.